don't see why a theme park mogul would kidnap Mr. Freeze. Men like Walker are obsessed with getting their own way, and they don't let little things like the law stop them. I'm picking something up on the scanner. Three small objects coming in fast. Intruder threat has been neutralized, sir. Excellent. Looks like we're swimming home. Not before we have a talk with Mr. Walker. I think you'll find that suit is a perfect duplicate of your original. Automatic temperature control, increased cybernetic strength, even the cold gun works. Yes. Logically, I should do the same to you. Just hear me out, please. As I said, I've studied you and your work. Do you realize that in your frozen state, you'll age much slower than an ordinary human? You're practically immortal, my friend. Yes, eternal life trapped in this wretched shell. What a miserable joke. Oh, miserable to you, but a godsend to me. Look at me, Mr. Freeze. I'm an old man. I've created wonders in my lifetime, but there is still so much to do. I want to change as you have. To become, like you, a being of blessed eternal cold. You're insane. Only you have the know-how to duplicate the accident that made you what you are. What I long to become. I want to live like this. Abandoned and alone. A prisoner in a world you can see but never touch. Uh, <coughs> Old and infirm as you are, I'd trade a thousand of my frozen years for your worst day. Actually, I had another kind of swap in mind. I was a major investor in Gothcorp a few years back, and put up some money for their cryogenics program. I trust you know the young lady behind the glass. My wife. The Gothcorp execs think she perished in the fire, but my men got her out. I have the technology to restore her, my friend. All you have to do is grant my wish. <laughs> <laughs> 